Tori Hunter is a center fielder for the Los Angeles Angels, and uh, he apparently had a mishap with police officials in his town. So his security system malfunctioned, and about 20 minutes later, police arrived. Now, when they first showed up, uh, basically, they came outside and drew their guns at him. This is what he said through Twitter. My alarm went off in my house while I was in it. 20 minutes later, I saw cops checking the scene, went outside, and they drew their guns on me. Mm -hmm. He continues to tweet, they didn't believe I lived here in Newport Coast, and they walked me upstairs at gunpoint to get my ID. He continues, when I showed him my ID, he said, I'm an Angel fan, hope you guys have a great season. Are you kidding me? Oh. LOL. He had to include the LOL. He put in the LOL? Yeah, he did. Yeah, it makes the story a little less serious. Okay, so okay. I know. So it's interesting. So that happens, and look. Newport is uh, a Republican area. It's a very white area. Um, mm -hmm. It's a fancy area. Um, a nice area. I like that area. But anyway, yeah. um, so, you know, they see a black guy. Are they discriminating against him? Is that why they drew their guns? What's happening? Now, of course, it's easy to speculate, but he followed up all these tweets later by basically saying, look, they handled it fine. They were just doing their job. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I disagree with him. Um, Look, I've had uh, my own issues with cops in the past, but they never draw a gun on me. I, you know, the alarm uh, has gone off or malfunctioned in uh, Ladisa's house several different times. Cops have come several different times. They never draw their guns. Yeah. Now, in, in the following tweets, he says, uh, or t t Tory Hunter says, you know, they didn't point their guns at me. They drew their guns, but it was pointed down. But I don't, I don't really think they're supposed to do that either. They've never done that when cops have come to respond to an alarm at, you know. Right. Uh, lulls. Yeah. Uh, no. Um, yeah, look, come on, keep it real. Um, it's not what they normally do. In my experience, maybe my experience is wrong, right? Maybe uh, guys can tell us here that, that uh, you know, as they watch this, maybe cops have normally draw guns every time in that situation. Uh, but that, that hasn't been my experience. So... My guess is, yeah, he's a black guy in Newport Beach, and you know, and so that's that's why they drew the guns. I, I don't. Maybe I could be wrong. What do you guys think? I, I, can I speculate here? Yeah. Well, first off, he tweeted. I assume several tweets over explaining what happened to him. Uh, I think he was upset. I think he knew it was based on, or he felt it was based on his race, based on it's a black guy in Newport Coast, whatever he called it, but it's Newport Beach, um, and then, and then afterwards, as he, as you're going through it, it's one of those things where you're thinking, ah. I don't want to be out there as that guy who's saying, oh, my God, the Newport police are so racist. I'm a known figure. I'm one of the main players on the Angels. Let me just go ahead and act like it's not a big deal. I think he felt it was a big deal, though. Yeah. And he think, kind of, he's think, brushing it over with the LOLs. And, the, oh, by the way, the Newport police just doing their job. They're just doing their job. I don't want to get in that. He's basically like, let me just go on my life. I don't feel like dealing with it. Yeah, I, I think you nailed it. I think that's exactly what's happening here. And he thought, look, do, do I want to be in the center of this controversy? You know, and then it's going to get political, and then it's a mess, and my agent warned me against it, et cetera, et cetera. He's like, can my fans live out here? Yeah. They're going to be upset with me, all that stuff, which I think, fine for himself. It's, it's up to him. I'm not against him deciding how he, where he wants his the attention on his life to be. That's fine with, him, with me. But I think from the beginnings of his tweets, he was like, they didn't think I lived here. Why would you throw that in there? They didn't think I was deserved to live here. Something like that. They didn't believe that I should live here. One of those things in there. It shows that he was like, mm. Yeah, again, this goes to the point that I've been making, Steve O's been making, et cetera. Nobody, no cops ever come to my house and thought, I don't believe you live here. Has that ever happened to you? Maybe, okay? But I think that that happens on average to black people a lot more than it happens to white people or any other kind of people because I, I'm not white, but even me. I mean, you know, I joke around that, you know, if I go to fancy open houses here in Los Angeles, they look at me and they think I'm Persian and they think I got a lot of money. So they never question, right? So it is all sorts of different kind of discrimination. But uh, unfortunately, the discrimination that black folks often uh, face is the one where the cops draw their guns. And now in this case, nobody got hurt, everybody's fine, you know, God bless. And, and obviously, uh, he wants to get beyond it. But, you know, my guess is that's why they drew the guns.